Okay, the other important difference, and I'm going to give a lot of examples of this one. That's the way we score points, all right? Because men and women, we score points really different. For men, men are more conscious here, all right? They have like big points for big things. The car you drive is a cool car, that's a lot of points. The big house you build for the family, that's a whole lot of points they brought to the family. Men, women, take it different. For women, the big thing and the small thing has equal value. Yeah, each act of love is one point. So, it could be a hero of the day, it could be a king, by doing these little things, because they do matter. I'm going to take dating here, yeah, okay? Dating. Oh, statistically, by the way, men talk the most on the third day, and I mean most in their whole relationship, the third day. Why? Because when, when I start this relationship, what do I know? I know that I like you, so what should I do? I should communicate this to you, right? I'm going to tell you I like you. You are so nice. You are extraordinary. I'm going to tell you I like your hair. I, I like the color of your eyes. And men do that. <laughs> so then the relationship starts, and in a few months or years, a period, fast, and that's the man mentality, right? He says, I already told you so of that. Nothing has changed, the color of your eyes didn't change. <laughs> Why should I repeat it? Well, man, you have to know that for women, these little things, they are very important throughout the whole relationship. That's about scoring points. Now a few words how men score points. What the woman should know that men, they can give a lot of points for big things. It's true. We do also have penalty points. And when man is not appreciated, when he feels he gives something, and you don't appreciate, that's a penalty point. So the situation is, the woman thinks, oh, score it that hard. But the man gets in front of her, and she's actually here. Oops, the conflict. The conflict arises. And I want to um, share with you the technique <laughs> that I truly actually wish I've used in my relationship. It's called the love letter. Love letter. Uh, in love letter, okay, then in conflict, what do you try to do? Try to say, I'm so angry and I demand you do that, that, and that because you're not right. Love letter is basically the way to say it. You say you regret, you say you're sad, you say you're frustrated, okay. What's well, very important, you say in the end of this letter, love was. You say, I still love you. I understand. Thank you for being in my life. I appreciate it, you. And uh, this letter truly works a lot. Because uh, being in love is truly magical. It feels eternal, like it will last forever. We nearly believe that we exempt from the problems our parents had, free from the odds that love will die. We're sure that it meant to be this way, and we will live happily ever after. But when the magic resists, and the daily routine takes over, it emerges that men continue to expect women to behave and react like men, and women who want to man feel and behave like women. Without clear understanding, what are the differences? We don't take time to understand and appreciate each other. We become demanding, rejectful, resentful, intolerant. Only through understanding. There are even differences of the opposite sex. We can have better relationships. We can help, we can give and receive. 
the love that is in our hearts. And love is magical. It can last if we remember our difference.